I think they're better than plastic straws. I don't like to get them, to be honest, because they feel soggy after a while. I like a good slushy, so the paper straws aren't that good, but I think it's, I mean, compared to killing <laughs> marine animals, who cares, right? I have two straws in my hand. One is a paper straw you might recognize at most fast food restaurants, and the other is made from a plant you might not recognize, a reed. Both are straw alternatives after single-use plastics were banned in Vancouver starting January 2022, but do they make a difference in our eco footprint? The idea is not to replace a plastic product with a substitute that is gonna be probably more harmful. The idea is to really look for other kind of clean, more greener and kind of products or, or, or material that are going to be break down at a faster rate and is not going to cause harm and damage to the environment and marine organisms or biota, wildlife or coastal communities. Alava says less than 10% of plastic waste is recycled in Canada and the rest goes to landfills or into the environment. So anyway, to cut down on what we throw out is valuable and that includes Vancouverites shopping with reusable cloth bags. So at some level, we need to think about how we are going to dispose this recyclable bag made of plastic or other kind of material. So it might be an issue in the long term, but in the short term, maybe it's useful to try to avoid and to outweigh the use of more plastic bags. Vancouver-based company Straws and Stuff has their solution to soggy paper straws, straws made from reeds. The CEO says they can be reused up to 10 times, and this product might seem new to Canada, but he says it's common in Europe and China. It's not harmful, it's just a piece of grass. It's not hard. Even if somebody gonna eat this, this is biodegradable inside of the stomach of some creature in, in day. He says like paper straws, reed straws do break down, but instead of crumbling mid-sip, it degrades in three months. The plant is also an invasive species that contributes to wildfires. There's basically no footprint. We actually, by cutting this before it's getting into fire, we're actually reducing the CO2 footprint. It's or even making this negative instead of like if we cut the field and it's not going to burn this year, right? We reduce the CO2. It's time to put these straws to the test. I've left both the paper straw and the reed straw in cups of water for 10 minutes. So let's see how they did. This one is soggy and it's really lost its structure. It's quite loose and it's ready to crumble. And then this one is firm, feels just like how it felt when I first put it in there. So that is the comparison. But Alava says no matter what straw you use, reduction of any use of plastics is good for the environment. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.